Hello, my name is Gabe Ball from Jubilers. Before I get started on this video, I would like to let you guys know that I have created an Instagram and Twitter account for this channel. As of right now, I do not know what will be uploaded on that channel yet, but it may include some exclusive content, so please be sure that you are followed. There will be a card in the top right corner of the screen and information in the description below. Today, I'd like to share some information on the brand new Mario Kart game for the Nintendo Switch. As you may know, Mario Kart is a racing game where you face off against beloved Mario series characters to see who can finish a course in first place. Many racers have joined Mario Kart throughout its entire series. I'm sure you are all anxiously awaiting the reveal of this game's roster. So we made a video showcasing some racers who will appear in the game. The number next to their name demonstrates the order in which they joined the Mario Kart series. Please, take a look.
That's right, every racer in Mario Kart history is joining the battle. Indeed, absolutely every single racer from every single Mario Kart game has joined the fray. Whether they were originally DLC, appeared only once, or were only playable in the arcade versions. In short, this game has the most variety of all. This is the biggest crossover in racing history, where, once again, racers from various game universes will collide in the biggest racing showdown ever. So, your roster may be as small as the original Super Nintendo lineup, but we decided to make the process for unlocking characters interesting, so it feels like you're always recruiting popular racers to your side. Plus, 12 player races have returned, granting more opportunities for once in a lifetime showdowns. Let's take a look at some racers by highlighting how they have changed since their last appearance. Each racer will have their own special ability by the game's release, and though we can cover some right now, some there we cannot name some of the abilities just yet. Mario is still the easiest and most balanced character, with all of his stats around the middle range. However, we did add a little someone from his newest quest, thus granting him the ability to claim item boxes a second early. Peach has not changed much throughout development, but we did give a little more detail to her character model. Bowser has some more voice effects and is currently one of the heaviest characters on the roster, thus giving him an advantage when shoving others out of the way. Koopa has an increase in his overall acceleration, which takes a toll on, the, on his top speed, thus making him a perfect choice for beginners. We didn't really know what to do with Wario, until we decided to let him use his biker outfit whenever he uses a bike or ATV, thus making Wario the first male character to change his outfit when going on a bike. Not much has changed with Baby Mario besides some refined voice effects and a slight alteration to his stats, such as increased drifting, decreased handling, and a slight increase in his acceleration. Making his triumphant return since Mario Kart Double Dash, Paratrooper will act very similarly to Koopa, except his top speed will be increased a little more. Since you all loved his exposed new hairstyle in Mario Tennis Aces, we decided to let you guys be able to choose to play as Capless Waluigi in Mario Kart Ultimate. The only other character besides Paratrooper to make a return since his debut in Mario Kart Double Dash, Petey Piranha will be the heaviest character in the game, which, based on time trial trends in the last decade, should make him a viable choice for world record runs. Rob makes a return after missing the last four entries in the series, and comes with an increased top speed and decreased acceleration to make him part of the heavier group of characters. Baby Luigi basically has the same changes as Baby Mario, except for a few stat changes including an added speed bonus that Baby Mario lacks. Dry Bowser's shell will now completely glow wherever he drives, and thanks to our developers, every time he pulls a banana, it will become a bone exclusively for Dry Bowser, and work exactly the same as a banana would. Toad will be given a slight increase in top speed and handling, and just like Yoshi and Shy Guy from Market 8 Deluxe, Toad will come with 8 alternate color options to choose from. Shy Guy and his 8 palette swaps will return to Mario Kart Ultimate, and if you play on Shy Guy Falls, Shy Guy will actually sing to the beat. Yoshi and his 8 alternate color swaps will return to Mario Kart Ultimate, and I've only received slight stat alterations for more balanced gameplay. Luigi is back, and better than ever. His death stare has not worn off, and he has an increased top speed, albeit at the cost of handling and drift stats. Funky Kong was, to put it lightly, very favorable among Mario Kart Wii players across the globe. In order to balance his character, we kept his top speed at the top of the game and reduced his acceleration, off-road, handling, and item stats in hopes he won't take over the time trials leaderboards. Donkey Kong Jr. is the final character that we have to give a 3D model to, and since we do not have footage of that yet, we decided to give you guys a pre-order bonus by letting you guys relive your nostalgia days and play as the original 16-bit Donkey Kong Jr. Just like in Mario Kart Wii, both Meat Outfit A 
a standard biker suit, and Mi Outfit B in Mario's overalls or Peach's dress will be available in Mario Kart Ultimate. We hope you take advantage of playing as both outfit options. Birdo has not been playable since Mario Kart Wii, and now comes with an updated character model, some new voice effects, and a brand new course solely dedicated to her. Wait, were we supposed to announce that? Um, anyways, moving on. We decided to lighten up more in a bit by increasing his acceleration, decreasing his top speed, and even placing him in the smaller scale vehicles compared to beasts like Bowser and Petey Piranha. In order to pay homage to Ludwig's boss battle in New Super Mario Bros. U, we decided to give him the exclusive ability to harness the Double Cherry item, which adds a clone Ludwig and forces Red Shells and other homing items to go to the wrong clone. Larry? Yeah, we got nothing. Metal Mario now has an added shine to him, and his stats remain basically the same, except his drifting ability will increase and he will have a slightly higher acceleration in order to stand with the big boys in Mario Kart Ultimate. This will be Pink Old Peach's fourth appearance in the Mario franchise and third Mario Kart game, which means we couldn't figure out what else to add to her besides some more animations in a Pink Gold Color Mini Turbo Boost. Link can now swap into his Breath of the Wild look, and has an increased acceleration and handling. Isabelle did not get much of an upgrade, besides some altered stats, but I did hear she drives slightly better when playing on Animal Crossing. For the first time ever, you can now play as the Mini Bomb Car in all modes, just like any other character. His extreme acceleration should make him a favorite among beginners. And every time he picks up a bomb, his blast radius is always much greater than normal. Pac-Man finally makes his long-awaited jump from arcade to home console. Plus, whenever Pac-Man pulls a chain jump for an item, he will replace it with a giant version of himself and gobble up everything in sight. Blinky also makes the jump from arcade to home console, and he comes equipped with some added animations and three other palette swaps. Can you guess who they are? Donkey Kong has gained quite a bit of muscle since last we saw him on the tracks. Just enough so that we can move him from the cruiserweight division to the heavyweights. Mamechi will join the small weight characters after making his debut in Mario Kart Arcade GP2, thus making him quite accessible for beginner players. King Boo will be the only character to hold the Boo item, which now allows him access to stealing two items from any of the other 11 racers. Don Chan finally comes to home console after making his debut in Mario Kart Arcade GP DX. And just like Mamechi, will join the small weight characters and come with some added animations and voice effects. Golden Mario technically made his debut in Mario Kart Arcade GP DX through an update by being a palette swap to Metal Mario, and then joined Mario Kart 8 Deluxe to be Metal Mario's palette swap again, except this time, he was the primary option. Now he is completely separate from Metal Mario and now harnesses the ability to become invincible at any point in the race for only 3 seconds, so use it wisely. Now let's get a look at a new racer. That's right, Kamek, after being snubbed from Mario Kart 64's roster during development is finally making his triumphant debut in Mario Kart Ultimate. Kamek will be a small character, thus having crazy acceleration but a top speed that leaves some to be desired. Kamek will also have three other color palette swaps, those being red, green, and yellow. Finally, during races, Kamek will use his scepter to harness the power of re-rolling the item's roulette, thus granting him a chance at another item. Be careful though, as this can either help you race out tremendously, or leave you scraping up last place. Let me show you some more information on items. As you may know, items are a key component in the Mario Kart franchise, as they can help a player move forward in the pack and potentially bring someone from last to first. There are plenty of items to choose from, more than any other Mario Kart game in history.
their variety of courses returning to the Mario Kart franchise. If you and a buddy get together, it will be a challenge to unlock them all. The graphics have also been improved on each course over the years. Let's get a look at some stages from various games. Let's take a sneak peek at some of the returning techniques you can pull off during races. Wheelies are exclusive to bikes and were slightly overpowered in Mario Kart Wii. They have returned in Mario Kart Ultimate, however, each consecutive wheelie will not run as long as the previous one, thus forcing you to use other strategies to earn speed besides wheeling. Tricks are essential to modern Mario Kart as they give you a boost at the end of each ramp. We decided to bring back low tricks in order to add more strategy to the game and to make it feel more satisfying to the players as they will receive a longer boost to speed if the trick is lower. Drifts have been crucial since the dawn of Mario Kart and now they are more important than ever because if you can pull off the fantastic purple mini turbo you will earn a great boost to speed just like you did in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. There is also a time limit for drifts now. If you hold them for more than 8 seconds, the drift will automatically disappear, forcing you to start a new one. So make sure you get the boost you deserve before it disappears. Now on the minimap, there will be a star surrounding the leader once he or she enters the final lap. So you better act fast or no trophy for you. Yes, we even brought 200cc back. Try to master braking as you go through every course at a speed and difficulty you never thought you'd be up against in a Mario Kart game. We've got something special for you that will be returning to the Mario Kart series, and we believe that all of you will be very excited to see this come back. Yes, there will be a new Double Dash mode coming to Mario Kart Ultimate. Here, you will get to play as two characters at once, thus reliving the glory days of Mario Kart Double Dash. The combinations you can mess around with now are endless, plus all Super Mario Series Amiibo will be compatible this time. All racers' current Amiibo will be supported as well, even if they are from a different series. Tap a compatible Amiibo figure to add a figure player in which you can play as in, a, in multiplayer mode. The more races you have with your amiibo, the more experience it will get and the harder it will become to beat. You can even take your figure player online with you to face off against other players. We hope you are as excited as we are for Mario Kart Ultimate. Our staff will continue to work as hard as they can until the game's release worldwide. We made including every single racer ever our number one priority. So we are hoping you weren't expecting too many new racers. However, that being said, we do have one more announcement. Please take a look. <laughs> 